This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Okay, so it's Saturday and that means I've been having a bit of a jam, so let's cut straight to the chase. Here's the solo, then there's a little bit of a challenge for you. Okay, now there is a full tab for that solo and the jam track that I was uh, using up on my Patreon page. There's the address right there, link in the description. Now, what's the challenge then? Well, uh, that solo was uh, played over a D minor chord vamp. It was essentially going from a D minor 7 kind of thing to an A7 every few bars just to kind of turn it around. And predominantly what I was using there in terms of playing over that was a D minor pentatonic. One or two other notes kind of creeping in from time to time, but I would say well over 90% of it was D minor pentatonic. Now, hands up, um, if you're going to play a D minor pentatonic solo, how many of you would probably start in this pentatonic box and possibly stay there all the way through? Yes, indeed. I'm imagining quite a few hands in the air at the moment. And there's nothing wrong with that particular pattern. I don't want to kind of say that you shouldn't use that. But what you should do is force yourself out of your comfort zone from time to time. Okay, uh, how about doing what I just did there, which is to play an entire solo uh, where you don't use that pattern at all. Okay, so this is going to force you to start thinking whereabouts uh, the notes, the, the right notes of the pentatonic scale D, F, G, A, C, if you're thinking in terms of D minor pentatonic, where else those notes are on the neck? Where else can you find them? What other shapes and patterns and licks and runs and so on begin to suggest themselves? Uh, I'll also put up on the Patreon uh, page uh, a, like a pattern, uh, a bunch of patterns for the other shapes for D minor, well, all the shapes for D minor pentatonic and which frets they're at. So, you know, that might just help. But the way I learned to do this was uh, through having to, really. I didn't realise what I was doing was learning scale positions and learning the neck. When I first started playing lead guitar, and I've talked about this a few times, I began on a Woolworths Top 20 guitar which was essentially um, a bunch of sharp edges held together with a guitar-shaped lump of plywood. It was a horrible instrument, but, you know, I loved it at the time because it was an electric guitar and it was mine. Uh, but, yeah, so quite often I'd find myself having to play best part of a week on a guitar that had five or sometimes even only four strings on. So if I wanted to play that Chuck Berry lick that I'd just figured out, or if I wanted to play that Hank Marvin tune that I was trying to master... Um, 
um, maybe some of the notes weren't available because those strings had gone ping and you know I'd have to find other ways and other locations on the guitar to play them and that's what I'm recommending you do now try playing a solo either over this jam track if you're a, uh, a patron of mine and you 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 know you can you can grab it from the patreon page or just go on YouTube and find any old D minor or A minor or B minor backing track whatever and essentially try playing a solo for as long as you can without using pentatonic box number one there's your challenge okay folks that's pretty much it for today hope you've enjoyed the video and found it maybe a little bit inspiring and um you know giving you some food for thought and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it if you want to support the channel as i say you can become a patron you can join the patreon it's only three dollars a month and you get all of these additional resources that go along with these lesson videos there's other ways you can support me as well. All the links are in the description. You can enroll on a course. You can buy a fret zealot. You can buy some of my wife's handmade genuine gemstone jewellery. Any number of ways that you can help me keep the lights on around here. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you're already doing that, I'm more grateful than I can tell you. And thank you in advance if you're thinking about doing it. And with that, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.